Hello, my name is Nasser Hayat Khan. I'm a junior at Marquette University in the Applied Investment Management program covering international financials, and today I'm presenting Futu Holdings. I have it at a price target of $46.93 with an upside of 46.72%. Futu Holdings was established in 2007 with the intention of democratizing trading. They offer proprietary technology in their subsidiaries. Most notable are Futu Bull, which caters to Hong Kong, and Moomoo, which is their international platform for trading. Futu's philosophy and technology have provided strong growth earnings year over year since its public release. Revenues, which have grown at 140% CAGR over the last five years, provides investors with a unique growth opportunity. Their platforms are focused on providing low-cost access to securities trading, which markets itself to a new generation of investors, i.e. Generation Z and Millennials. Because of the quality in their platforms, Futu has been able to maintain 98% of customers every year. With strong future market opportunities available to them in Singapore and Australia, company costs are relatively stable as their platforms have passed through the development stage, leading to an increase in operating margins. Futu's first driver, Pacific Money Moves. Futu has recently acquired licensing for its services in Singapore and Australia. Currently, they have over 250,000 clients in Singapore as of fiscal year 21 after launching in March. The expected growth in the market is to reach a million by the end of the year. Based on the historic ratio of paying clients to total clients around 12%, Futu is expected to gain 120,000 paying customers by the end of fiscal year 22, resulting in additional revenue of 30.6 million US dollars from Singapore alone. This will push total sales over the $1 billion mark for fiscal year 22. Furthermore, costs should remain relatively stable, as operations have been established in Singapore. This will allow for the maintenance of profit margins growth over 100 uh, percent. The upcoming opportunities in Australia have an untapped market of approximately 8 million users. If Futu continues its current track of acquiring 1 million clients year over year with few additions to operating expenses, revenues will continue to double over the forecasted period, which is expected to reach $17 billion by fiscal year 26. The second driver, revenue per customer. Futu boasts around 2 million monthly active user and on average obtains $291 from MAUs per day. This equates to over $100,000 per monthly active user annually. With the growth in Singapore and expected expansion into Australia, Futu will have access to a total population of around 11 million. If Futu is successful in this endeavor, MAUs will grow to about 3.25 million, resulting in a 62% increase in trade revenue from $581 million to $944 million within the decade, averaging 8% growth year over year. To put this in perspective, companies such as Robinhood and Coinbase, which already operate international, at internationally show slowing growth in customer acquisition and will not be able to grow trading revenues at the same rate Futu will in the near-term future. The third driver, Go Go Go. Futu looks to increase R&D by about 20% in 2022. This will assist with the international market development. They plan to do this by hiring more computer science industry experts and special task forces to accelerate the migration to a cloud-native infrastructure built on the Go coding language. This will provide system stability and scalability by increasing R&D efficiency by 20 to 30 percent over the next three to five years. This enhanced flexibility will significantly lower R&D related expenses by around 2 percent year over year, which will increase operating margins proportionately. In order to reach an intrinsic value for Futu, a five-year DCF model was constructed using a terminal growth rate of 2 percent and a WAC of 12.73 percent, an intrinsic value of $38.92 was reached. Additionally, a revenue trades per second to earnings multiple valuation was calculating using the next 12 months EPS of $3.62 and utilizing a weighted average RTPS to earnings multiple of 22.96 times resulted in a relative valuation of $119.59. Additionally, a price to sales multiple valuation was conducted using a weighted average P Price to sales multiple of 14.86 times, resulting in a relative value of $11.69. By weighing the three models 75, 15, 15, a price target of $46.93 was reached, resulting in 46.72% upside. 
Great reward does not come without a little bit of risk. Regulations on top of regulations. Futu is subject to extensive regulations in the markets they operate, Hong Kong, Singapore, the US, China, uh, Australia, so on and so forth. These laws are subject to change, and if Futu is unable to follow with these changes, the company will be negatively affected. A market downturn. Futu relies heavily on user trading volume to grow revenues. If the market has a strong downturn, this may deter clients from trading, resulting in lower revenues. And the European conflict. It's no secret that Ukraine versus Russia conflict has significant global repercussions. The current events affect the U.S. and Chinese relations as well. If tensions escalate and this continues, this will have a negative consequence on Futu's ability to conduct business. Li Fua Li is the founder and CEO of Futu. Prior to the company's inception, Li has served in several senior management roles at Tencent, a major backer of Futu. Arthur Yu Chen has been CFO since 2017. Prior to joining Futu, he served as director at Citigroup Global Markets Asia from 2009 to 2016 in its equity business. Prior to this, he was vice president at China International Capital Corporation from 2005 to 2009. Robin Lee Zhu has been Senior VP since 2019 and is responsible for product development, operations, and marketing growth. He has worked at Food2 since two 2013 and prior had worked at TenPay as Senior Product Manager responsible for online payment product development. And with that, I bid you all adieu. Thank you.